stars. I hope that you're doing so, so well today. So for today's video, I have a chit chat get ready with me. I think it's been a little while since I've done one last. Today's topic is going to be where I see myself in five years. I asked myself that question a while ago. I was just kind of thinking about it. I need to write the things down because I think that would be like kind of fun to look back on. But in a way, I'm making it a video entry by talking about it with you all today. While I'm reflecting and thinking about where I'd like to see myself in five years, hopefully you'll take some time to think about that for yourself. It's not out of like, I need to be there in five years, but it's just kind of fun to think, okay, I hope that these things happen and just kind of putting it out into the universe. Starting off with sunscreen, I already put on some other skincare and wash my face. I've been breaking out a lot recently, so I've been definitely upping the amount of water I drink. My cat is like rubbing up against my camera, so if you hear that, that's what that was. But like, it's just been a while since I've like sat down and actually talked to you guys and kind of had like a heart to heart. I know my community's been growing a little bit more since, I don't know, just like the past couple months and I'm really grateful. First of all, so I guess I'll start off with like YouTube stuff. Really, ideally, I would love to see myself doing it full time. Right now, it's definitely a hobby. It's a creative outlet for me. I've been doing YouTube for 12 years, <laughs> which is crazy to think. But yeah, I've been on this channel for 12 years since I was 12 years old. I'm 24 now. And yeah, I just, I really love YouTube. I've definitely taken breaks. I've, you know, never been super consistent until the past couple of years. I've been uploading at least once a week. Um, actually, COVID really kind of whipped me into shape a little bit because I realized how much I loved YouTube and I was like, I should just make videos and I actually set up a schedule for myself and I try to stick with that as much as possible. For a while there, I was doing really, really good, but lately I've just been really busy, which I'll talk a little bit about too. Um, probably not too in-depth, but we'll get into it. <laughs> so yeah, with YouTube, I would really like to do it full-time. I currently am not making like any money off YouTube. I solely do it just for fun, and I want to keep it that way. I would never... I think it would be such a perk, though, to be able to have, like, be a content creator for my job. Like, how amazing is that? Like, it, that's just such a dream of mine, to be able to brighten people's day if possible and be a safe place for people that are really going through some hard times as most of us, all of us do. I kind of want to have that, be that escape, I guess, for people, if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, I would love to do it full time and just really put time into this craft and just really take it on. I would love to like collaborate with like really really cool brands that I love. Do like cool campaigns I guess and I don't know what that means right now but <laughs> modeling for them or whatever which brings me to something that I get kind of like <laughs> a little shy of talking about. For ever since I can remember I've always wanted to act and be a singer and be a model. All the things and I feel like a big part of my adolescence I was told that I am not ideally a model or an actress things like that which you should never listen to those people because they're just trying to tear you down and so in five years time I would love to be signed with an agency I've been working really hard for a year and a half trying to find an agency that feels right for me I've had meetings with a couple agencies one was just this week you know just kind of see build my book up things like that hopefully I'll be signed I can just kind of feel it in my bones that it will happen and just kind of you know as a curvier mid-size lady just being able to also just uplift other women and men and just anybody that feels like they aren't enough that they are and they're like wow like this girl's out here doing it like I can do it too kind of thing like I just I think that'd be really really cool I also would love to be in a committed relationship I've been dating I haven't I stopped dating in April I took some time off after going on a couple of dates with the same guy then we like mutually ghosted each other which I don't think I ever talked to you guys about that but I was dating off of a hinge profile um and I liked hinge it was pretty good I had used like tinder in the past and i hadn't dated like all through college because i was just so focused on school just kind of myself and my sorority and things like that and just trying to like make a name for myself i guess and get experiences so that i could get hired out of college and whatever i was working a lot too so i was really busy and then i was also doing youtube whenever i could would just love to be in a relationship i feel like i'm ready i have felt ready for a while you know just kind of find that person that 
make sense for you and you make sense for them. I also would love to have my own house. I live at home right now, which I think most of you guys know that. Going through the motions of interviewing and all that stuff through COVID all the way through now, like I've just been constantly in a state of like, what next? <laughs> which I feel like, you know, I try to be really present, but it's hard to do that when I'm constantly stressed about money and health benefits and all that kind of stuff. So I've just been really working hard to build up my resume and eventually get to a place where I feel really comfortable. feel that success. I feel successful now. I'm trying to be like kind to myself because I have been through a lot and this week has been a doozy. A lot of family stuff happened Happened and today actually marks eight years since my dad passed away so it's just been really heavy this week and I felt really stressed so it feels good to just like sit down and talk about it um, I don't know I just I would love to not have to have any worries about money I just want to feel like calm like it's gonna be okay have my own house feel just like very stable just have that kind of sense of st stability back because I think it's been a while since I've had that my eyelashes just like brush my eyeball for a second. My sisters, so I have one nephew right physically here and then I have one on the way, which is so exciting. In five years time, I mean, I'll be, tw I'll be 29. So maybe I'll have a baby. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, a lot can happen in five years, but I feel like I'm really jumping the gun by saying that I'm not even in a relationship right now. But who's to say I won't be in three months from now, you know? I think just being an auntie is so fun, and I think in five years it'd be cool to see if there's any more additions to the family, whether that's from me or my sisters. Even, like, pet-wise, you know, I have two cats right now, so... And my sister Sarah has two cats, and my sister Loren has a dog. I think it'll be cool to see like how our family extends in that way, um, or extends, expands. <laughs> I would really like to learn how to drive a stick shift. I started learning, and I learned it, and then I got kind of nervous and I didn't do it anymore. My dad was a Volkswagen guy. We had a Volkswagen business when my dad was around. He would like fix, restore older Volkswagens, like air-cooled Volkswagens from like the 60s and stuff. One of them that I want that my dad made for my mom for a Valentine's Day gift is a 1970, is 77, 76? It's a red convertible. It's a cabriolet and it's red and has the black interior and the black, I can't think of words right now, but the black top and I just, I've always loved that car. I have really good memories with that car, with all of them, but that one has always stuck out in my mind since I was a kid. And I remember like listening to Radio Disney with my dad in the bug and like we went to a park and played at the park when I was like five. It's just like those memories I want to recreate with my children in the future and with my nephews. And I would love to drive a stick so I can actually drive my dad's cars because that would be really, really cool. I'm getting a little off track, but the summer after he passed away, we did a, a cruise with all of his friends and who have a Volkswagens and air-cooled cars and things like that and we raised money for prostate cancer awareness which is what he passed away from we donated to it and like all the funds that we you know raised selling beer at this restaurant we were able to give to the nonprofit organization and I would just like love to organize another one in memory of him maybe like the 10 year mark because today is eight years so maybe two years from now like in the summer though we would do another run to like just commemorate him have that memory for him those are some things that i see myself doing in five years getting a modeling contract i can do this getting a full-time job benefits whether that is YouTube or also just like having a full-time job. I've always kind of imagined myself having a full-time job and doing YouTube full-time. Just kind of having both. So then YouTube is still always my like creative thing. I don't want it to become a stressful thing for me. I want it to always be fun for me. So that'd be really cool to have that separation. I would love to be in a relationship that is healthy and good for me and good for the person that I'm with. To have my own house and... To just feel stable. I think those are the things. To be healthy. Um, to just have... I hope that my friends and my family always stay healthy. That we're just all happy and uh, feeling good. So 
those are some things. I would also love to go to more concerts within five years time, see Harry Styles again. Maybe One Direction will come back from their hiatus. Just have a lot of fun with life. Soak it up, travel, hopefully go back to Europe. I would love to see myself in Europe within five years time. I'm done getting ready. I've kept it pretty simple the last couple of months because of, like I said, my skin's breaking out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some time to reflect on where you see yourself in five years time, some goals that you have for yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, shine bright. Bye, guys.